Great job, Team 80s. Okay, and now from Team 90s, Maria Bam. I don't, I, I, I wanna, I don't wanna let my team down, uh, but I'm also terrible at debate. Uh, I don't like disagreeing with others, and I uh, have a difficult time s uh, standing in my opinion. So, what I wanna do tonight is just express personally uh, how I've changed as a person, uh, from the 80s to the 90s. Uh, in the 80s, I was 10 years old. Uh, relatively useless. Uh, I ate a lot of orange sherbet uh, to regulate my moods. In the 90s, 90s, I, I was able to uh, find Diet Coke and uh, breeze on through that way. Uh, in the 80s, um, I was very uh, selfish and self-centered, uh, taking money from my parents, because uh, I was 10, 10 years old. Uh, the 90s, I had a job that I did not do well. And uh, this is going to be very short, but I think this totally illustrates um, what's wrong with the 80s. Um, I spent most of my uh, childhood in the basement um, next to the furnace where I would sing songs to myself into a mirror that we found at the dump. And... Uh, the 80s, I got my first tape, which was Whitney Houston's self-entitled album, Whitney Houston. <laughs> Seems fine, except when you see what the, then what I would do. And I did this on a daily basis. I'd go down to the furnace room, <laughs> and I'd sing into the mirror, Secret lover, yeah, that's what we are. Try so hard to hide the way we feel. We both belong to someone else, but we can't let go. Cause what we feel is so so real. So real. It wasn't right, and it still isn't. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Maria Bamford. Very, very short.